Okay, I'm going to go over the probing procedure for our Haas milling machine. So right now we are in the uh, memory mode. The mode buttons are this row right here. You got edit, memory, MDI, handle jog, zero return, and list programs. Okay. So memory mode is where you run the programs from. Edit is for editing programs. MDI is for programs you, quick programs you don't want to save. Handle jog is for moving the machine around manually. Zero return is for getting to home quickly. And list programs is the program management area. All right, so to get into the probing programs, you got to start with MDI right here. MDI. Screen's going to change. And over here, you got to switch from this screen to this screen by hitting program. You end up over here. Now, this one has the probing programs already loaded, but a lot of times in the morning, they're not loaded on initial startup. So right down here, it says F2 to select new template. So I'll go to F2, press that button. And usually you're going to find the this one is in there. This is a conversational programming system. We don't want that one in there. So on power up every day, it's going to have that in there. And we want to press the F2 button and switch to wireless program. It's already set on there, so just hit enter and it switches. Now on this page here, we only have... Uh, Two selections, spindle probe 1, 9, and 10 through 18. This is for finding the X, Y, and Z coordinate. So 1 through 9 are all the simple ones. We use that one. All right, then you get nine selections, 1 through 9. So if we're on a typical Titans of CNC part, we're using the upper left corner for our G54 work coordinate with the model box point. Okay. So that means you can use this individual one, that individual one, and that one, or this one that does three and ones. So this is a very good option right here. And this, this round ball indicates where the probe goes. And it says probe vice corner. So hit enter, and you got the a diagram of what's going on here. So. If I leave this picture up, I can go get my probe and put it in position. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, the probe is not in the machine, in the spindle, so we got to go change tools with door closed. I'm going to go to the MDI. I'm going to type in T20 ATC for automatic tool change. Now it's going to change tools automatically. Okay, the probe is now in the spindle. So now I can go back to here again, and this page is white, so I need to get back to this page with program. All right, I'm gonna answer these questions, and I'm also gonna put the probe in that position. So this is my diagram, handled to within 0.4 of Z surface over corner. So I could do that with doors open, my parts in the machine over there, I'm gonna use Handle jog the large increment and pick a direction, X. Okay, I'm going to crank it over. So I can do this one quickly like this. Right, I'm going to move the Y coordinate and then the Z coordinate. Now when I get a little closer, I'm going to slow it down and use this thumb wheel. So I'm going to go a little bit closer here. I'm going to go in the X direction. I want that to be right over that edge. And I also want the probe to be over the back edge. So I'm going to use the Y direction this way. That looks a lot better, and I need to get the Z coordinate 
be 0.4 above. Now I'll just fix the Y coordinate a little bit. And then bring it down. Okay, that's pretty good. Just needs to be approximate. Okay, so I'm going to go back to MDI program. I have it still selected. And I'm going to fill out these items on the right, right here. My work offset is going to be 54 with no G. The width of my pot is approximately how long the X is. So 2.0 would be fine. The Y width would be how wide the pot is. So 2.0 would be fine on that. And our Z depth, we're always using this minus 0.65 probe vice corner. Okay. So up here we're going to put in minus 0.65. Enter. All right, now it switches to output the MDI number three, and that puts it here. And we're going to activate MDI and run cycle start. So, anytime you're going to press that green cycle start button, you get out doors shut, but everything's in position. So, I'm going to press MDI, and now cycle start. Okay, probes the top, Z axis, probes the X, X axis, and then probes the Y, Y axis. Goes back to the beginning, all set. Now, to find the offset page, right here, under the, these are display buttons, I'm going to press offset, and I have two sets of offsets. I have tool offset, work offset. We're working on work offset, so I need to press this button one more time. That'll switch. If we need to switch again, I just go back and forth. So the one we just set with this X, Y, Z coordinate. Now if we need to adjust anything, we're going to adjust these three coordinates here. So if we're using the Titan model box point method, we're going to adjust the X, the Y, and the Z axis. So the X is positive 0 0.05. Okay. So to adjust this, we're going to use this enter button, which is plus or minus. All right. I'm going to type in 0 0.050. And double check my numbers correct. And I'm going to add it to that one. All right. This one. It says negative 0 0.025. Make sure you're on the y axis. Negative 0 0.025. Double check. Enter. And the last one was negative 0 0.01. And adjust that one. Tips and tricks. If you make a copy of the of the number. When you go to adjust, before you adjust, you'll have a backup plan on this. So you can just type in the numbers. So if I wanted to overtype that number, I can't use the add and subtract. That's going to add to that number. If I want to copy that number, I'm going to type in minus 25.6317. And I'm going to use the F1 force button right here. Now it's the number that I want. Same thing if I want it to be zero. If I want zero, I can't use this button. It's going to add a subtract zero to it. So I'm going to type in zero and F1. And that's all you need to know. Bye.